Londoners hate being delayed. What they don't know is that a third of those delays are caused by them. How do you tell commuters to be more considerate without being patronising? By bringing Poeticut to stations across the city. To all the stone-faced circle line users, I know you've got a hot date with your desk and the X to step to, debts to pay, a long way to go and eight hours of the day to get through. But if you stop for a breath, forget to drop your eyes to the floor when they connect with another. Let a word or a line or a verse of letters get through, your day might get a bit better. You might find something worth stopping for. And I want to see your mask messed up with laughter. See you try to turn the stone back on and fail. I want to see you without your face on, your rat race pace on, your get out my way on, so hold my gaze. I can't rephrase, I was raised by people who show their love, who slow dance down streets and kiss on escalators. And yes, that might irritate you. But in this maze of lines and tunnels, zone to zone, we're all just trying to get home. So make it easier. And let me see what's going on behind that stone. Our Poeticut brought to life a range of travelling do's and don'ts, like moving down the platform, taking your litter with you and not obstructing the tube doors. From poets to posters to an animated film, every poem had a message. Travel better London. Next, can poetry make us all behave, well, just that little bit better on the tube? Well, that's what Transport for London are hoping for anyway. Poeticut made London a happier place to travel. Our next stop, tomorrow's commuters. Public transport will be the best place to be. All of you just wait and see. Thank <laughs> you.